Hello everyone. Tonight I'm going to talk about Grammarly. It's an app that actually helps you edit your documents and edit all of the writing that you do across the internet. If you've read my blog for any length of time, I am very guilty of not being the best grammar person there is. I am pretty good at writing, but I still suffer with some minor issues here and there. But I wanted to show you why I love this program. I have the premium, as you can see, on my account, and I love it. Now, I can use Grammarly in many different ways, and I want to sh go over those ways with you really quick. Um, but first, we're going to start here in the Grammarly board, if you will. I can have type a title right here, type a document right here, and it will automatically start checking it for me. And see I have it shut up for checking for spelling, grammar, punctuation, sentence structure, style. And it gives me the option of general academic, essay, report, case study, all kinds of different forms. So depending on what I'm doing and what I'm using the writing for, it makes certain that I cover those features and cover those facts the best way I can. Personal blog post. And then I can copy it or I can download it. New, paste, upload. Plagiarism, that's, I can check for that as well. Which I use Grammarly with my oldest son as well because he's in fifth grade and he's starting into that age of doing essays and the like. And to me, writing is hard enough as it is. In Grammarly, yes, it gives you ideas, it gives you help, but as you see, I'll show you with some of my older posts post that I have on my blog because I haven't edited them yet. So let's find an old post that I haven't edited yet. Gotta go back. Whew, this is gonna be scary to show you an old, old post and have it edited by Grammarly. Hmm. Well, I've done those, so let's do I'm scrolling and go back. I've had Grammarly for a while. So This is an old post, so it's 2012. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. We're going to take it straight to Grammarly. Paste. Control V. And then I'm going to copy the, this. Now look. On original text, how is it on original? See? It tells you right here where it came from. And it even gives you the citations on how to cite it, which I love. And I love that it caught that it was not my own content right off the bat. Even though it is my content, but it doesn't know that. Um, and see all these errors? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is kind of scary, but um, I'm going to show you Facebook because I can't handle this beeping in. But notice if I'm typing anything into Facebook or as a status update, I can open Grammarly and have it check it. I'm doing a little video on an editing software program that I love. Are you curious which one it is? And see that little green symbol shows that it, there was not any errors. Okay, now I can get out of that. Twitter, same thing. If I'm writing an email, see this little symbol here? It shows that it shows that Grammarly is going to check my work as I'm doing an email. Let's go back to this post while I'm here. 
and I can show you how easy it is to fix. Now, this is an unclear antecedent. Oh, let me see if it changes when it's a personal blog. Okay. I got a 78 score, so it's not as bad as the 60 I had. All right. Possibly missing written word, homeschooling. This is where homeschooling has a drawback. Now, come for us. And we don't need that many wells. You know this. You know this. Okay, probably confused preposition. That point has obviously come. Now see, sometimes it doesn't make sense why it's asking you to make the changes. That point has obviously come for us again. Well, for us it is for us. So I'm going to ignore that. This is where homeschooling has a drawback. See, so I open it up, change it, change it. Now see, the sentence is mighty long. So it is a very long sentence, so I need to fix it. He still gets to play soccer, but that's truly really almost the only thing left with the exception of him. Okay, I went ahead and did some of the edits without you there, but he could have afforded to have a bad grade. Okay, swapping. I know that it's not mine. Sometimes you have to use your proper judgment too, but it's nice to have it in front of you to fix the minor errors. but it's very easy to use. Now I can take all this, copy, edit post, control off and put it all right back in there and update. Now, this is still not a proper blog. If you've been blogging for any length of time, you know that there's a better way to make this look and easier for readers to read. So, they Anyways, I wanted to show you that you can actually edit your post right here in Grammarly as well using Grammarly as long as you have this Grammarly spell check and grammar checker extension from the Chrome store installed. Okay, but I wanted you to see how you can use it here. Now, if you want to have a professional proofreader, you can send it to a professional proofreader. There are fees for that. Okay, just to let you know that that option is available. Now, you can also download Grammarly from your own dashboard. I meant to show you that. I'm sorry I didn't. Onto your computer. And as long as it's connected to the internet, you can use Grammarly on Word and Excel and Outlook. 
Screen view. Why is it not showing up on Excel? It's supposed to show up on Excel. That's what it said it would do. Grammarly. Let's go back. No. Sorry. Microsoft Word and Outlook. I am wrong. It does not do it on Excel. So that's why it's not there. Okay. But I want you to note that the autosave functionality of Word is disabled. Okay. So to prevent writing is lost, be sure you save your work in regular intervals. Don't display in the future. The undo control Z feature is not available when Grammarly is enabled. Okay? So you need to keep those things in mind when you're using Grammarly. I personally keep Grammarly disabled while I'm writing. And then when I'm done writing a post or writing something then I go through and I enable Grammarly. That way it's not going to stop me from having the autosave and it's not going to stop me from being able to use the undo button. Those <coughs> excuse me. Those are two important things for me because I'm constantly getting interrupted and I need to have the autosave done for me. So I don't want to risk losing a blog post or something else I'm working on just because Grammarly is enabled. That's just my personal suggestion. Grammarly does have different options available. Um, as far as payment is concerned, you can't see it unfortunately on my account right now because I am getting a discount due to doing this review for you. So I'm going to log out of my account. That way you can see. There is a Grammarly that is free. It does this just the extension is free, but it doesn't come with as many features as what the premium does. Okay, so I already have you. So I'm going to log into my other account just so you can see the rates if you decide to upgrade it. Ah, uh, shoot. I didn't think about that. Give me a second. Duh. If I can remember the password that is, I'm going to. Okay, premium. Okay, here you can upgrade for twenty nine ninety five a month. Quarterly paid at quarterly rates of fifty nine ninety five a month, which is what I do. I do the quarterly plan. I, I wish I could have had the money to do the annual plan because I really love Grammarly and I will keep Grammarly. Okay, you also get one back one week money back guaranteed. Grammarly support system is amazing. They are available 24-7 by phone and by email and they will answer your questions very quickly. I've already had to contact them and haven't had any issues with getting reception and service that I want. And you can tell by the amount of followers that they have on social media that they are very receptive and interactive with their customers. Um, in fact, I'll even show you. Hold on. Facebook and Grammarly. I'm pretty confident that's what it is. I could be wrong. But, let's see, they get people interacting with them all the time. And they're very good at it. And again, they will reach out to you and contact you in a heartbeat. Um, but that's my opinion of Grammarly. It's a wonderful program, as you can see. There's a lot of benefits to it. There's benefits to have it. And you can't go wrong. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. 
and I hope you'll come visit us at tidbitsofexperience.com. And if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to give them to us. All right, thanks. Bye.